No, today actually cultivation of virus in rich embryo. We'll talk about viruses that are relevant to your syllabus. Now, viruses. Viruses are defined as intracellular obligatory parasites. Viruses are defined as intracellular obligatory parasites. Viruses are defined as intracellular obligatory parasites. They are defined as intracellular obligatory. Viruses are defined as Fantic, fan, intracellular obli obligatory they are defined as intracellular obligatory parasites they depend on the host cell They are made up of DNA, RNA. They are made up of DNA or RNA. They multiply by a complex process. They multiply very very complex process. The difference between bacteria and viruses, they cannot be called on artificial media. They grow on, they cannot grow on artificial media like McConkey agar, blood agar, nutrient agar. And uh, <coughs> They are resistant to antibiotic and chemotherapeutic agents. They are resistant to antibiotics and chemotherapeutic agents now uh, coming to the morphology depending on the morphology viruses are classified into three types classified into morphology of viruses depending on the morphology they are classified into three types One is cubical, second one is helical, cubical, everybody repeat, cubical, cubical. helical cubical. and complex. Complex is Bullet shaped. Bullet shaped is rhabdovirus. 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 Why you are talking in between? Don't talk. Bullet shaped is rhabdovirus and uh, brick shaped.
ब्रिक्स टेप इज स्मॉल पॉक्स वायरस 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 and there is one more virus which leaves a uh, parasitic life on bacteria bacteriophage the virus that lead parasitic life in bacteria is called as which lead bacteria is called as bacteriophage bacteriophage leads two kinds of life please come two kinds of life one is lytic cycle another is lysogenic cycle lytic cycle another is lysogenic cycle one is lytic cycle another is lysogenic cycle lytic cycle another is lysogenic cycle lytic cycle another is lysogenic so coming to the viral structure proper please don't talk sit here sit here it is either made up of nucleic acid nucleic acid made up of उटीनोटीनोटीनोटीनोटीनोटीनोटीनोटीनोटीनोटीनोटीनोटीनोटीनोटीनोटीनोटीनोटीनोटीनोटीनोटीनोटीनोटीनोटीनोटीनोटीन
that is a uh, rhabdo virus and uh, a brick shaped virus that is called pox virus tadpole like structure that is called as bacteriophage bacteriophage this is a viral structure proper structure now moving on to the cultivation of virus in the laboratory how do you cultivate i said you cannot cultivate on a media cultivation there are three methods of cultivation one is animal inoculation second is cell culture third one is embryonated egg cell culture repeat with me there are three types of cultivation of viruses one is animal inoculation embryonated egg and third one is tissue culture most commonly the animals which are used for cultivation of viruses are suckling mice suckling mice <coughs> cultivation of mice is suckling mice that infant mice these are used for the uh, cultivation of coxsackie viruses uh, animal also can be used uh, uh, it, it is inoculated intracerebrally subcutaneously intraperitoneally or intranasally uh you should look for the death of the animal look for the when you inoculate oil particle look for the death of animal and animal is sacrificed viruses are identified by neutralization test by using specific anti sera the virus inclusion bodies may be present in uh, stain smear beside my my other animals that are used are guinea pigs rabbits and parrots guinea pigs rabbits guinea pigs rabbits and parrots guinea pigs rabbits and parrots now moving on to the embryonated egg this is a part of the practical today so usually we pick up the 7 to 10 days uh, uh shambling usually we pick up uh, 7 to 12 days embryonated egg there are several route of inoculation most commonly used is coriolan coriolan type membrane coriolontic membrane coriolontic membrane this is the yolk sac one is allantai cavity coriolantai membrane then amniotic cavity and there is a so this is coriolantai membrane this is amniotic cavity this is embryo This is albumin. This is 
amniotic cavity, amniotic cavity. So there are why egg is preferred because egg is sterile and uh, coriolontic membrane, the outer membrane, coriolontic membrane usually grow pox viruses and uh, in a long intake member you can see the they look like bacterial colony. This is allantaic membrane. This is development of pox. Development of pox. There is development of pox. Each pox is belongs to sink, produces single pox. Next is allantaic cavity. Allantaic cavity is used for growing. This is allantaic cavity. is used for growing influenza virus. Allantaic cavity is used for growing influenza weather. Uh, influenza influenza got its name from inclement weather. Usually in cold weather you get this. Now allantaic cavity is, uh, is also used uh, uh, Membrane is used for pox, herpes, chicken pox and all those uh, viruses. Allantai cavity is for influenza virus and especially influenza vaccine is prepared in this cavity. Omniotic sac uh, inoculation of uh, used for influenza virus, that's also influenza virus. Yolk sac is used for growing, this is yolk sac used for growing. Chlamydia. And rickets. Yolk sac. Yolk sac is used for growing chlamydia and rickets. Now coming to the the second method is tissue culture. Please don't talk. Tissue culture. Second one is tissue culture. Cell culture or tissue culture. So, a whole organ, like trachea, pharynx, larynx, can be used. Uh, the, there is a, one is organ culture. This one is explant culture. One is organ culture. Next is explant culture. Then, third one is cell culture. Organ culture, explant culture, cell culture. Small bit of organization, organs are used for growing the viruses. Organs like tracheal ring for isolation of coronavirus. Tracheal ring is used for growing coronavirus. Small bits of organs that are used, example is coronavirus, we had just COVID-19, an example of coronavirus. In explant culture, explant cultures, uh, it's usually used uh, tissue, uh, mainly used, uh, this method is rarely used nowadays. Cell cultures, there are three types of cell cultures, primary cell culture, Deployed cell culture and continuous cell culture. There are three types of cell culture. Primary, deployed and continuous cell culture. There are three types of cell culture. One is primary, deployed and cell culture. So what is the example of primary cell culture? This is monkey kidney cells, human amniotic cells, a chick embryo, fibroblast. This is monkey kidney cells. 
दिस इज मन की किडनी सेल्स ह्यूमन ऑमनियन सेल कल्चर ह्यूमन ऑमनियन सेल कल्चर एंड चिकन ब्रियो फाइब्रोब्लास्ट is that the example of primary cell culture diploid means you have double uh, nucleic acid human embryonic cells and human uh, rhesus embryo cells human embryo cells chick embryo cells now continuous cells lines example hela this was obtained from helen lane uh, uh name of the lady cancer cervix example of uh, continuous cell lines there are malignant cells maintained uh, viruses continuously hela human epithelioid cells mccoy human synovial carcinoma cells and uh, baby hamster kidney cell lines and uh, human carcinoma of nasopharynx so these are uh, examples of uh, uh, continuous cell lines these are malignant cell lines hela cancer cervix cell line then uh, human epithelioid cells hep2 human epithelioid cell lines human epithelioid cell lines mccoy's mccoy cells then uh, baby hamster kidney cell line bhk21 bhk21 and uh, human carcinoma nasopharynx ab cells human human nasopharynx human nasopharynx cell line carcinoma of nasopharynx so these are the new cell lines that are seen in the cultivation now uh, how do you detect this for example these are the cell lines when you inoculate virus how do you detect how to detect viral growth when you inoculate into the cell line how to detect one is cytopathic attack it is called as cp cytopathic effect because these cell lines what happens they get shrinked or they become like clusters the shrinked and sometimes sometimes get necros or sometimes they multiply very faster shrink they become cluster necrosis faster multiplication if it is oncogenic viruses next is i said that there are spikes all cells which have got hemagglutinin they agglutinate put rbcs they get agglutinated agglutination of rbcs hemagglutination third one is interference you already grow on virus second virus you produce cytopathic effect 
and there will be no growth of that virus. This is called interference. Interference. The second virus will not grow. Sometimes, as I said, they just multiply, start faster. That is called uh, faster multiplication. There is oncogenic transformation. Oncogenic. Oncogenic transformation. Now we put antigen which is tagged with immunofluorescent antibody which is tagged with immunofluorescent dye, put it on cell culture, they fluoresce. Immunofluorescence. You tag the antibody with fluorescent dye, put it on the cell culture. They fluoresce and last one is electron microscope. You can visualize the cell virus growth by sh showing the viruses. Now there is something called uh, they are made up of DNA and RNA and uh, there is something called prions. What are prions? Prions are proteins and uh, without nucleic acid. Prions are proteins which are they are highly resistant to physical and chemical agent. They resist 90 degrees centigrade for 3 minutes. They produce slow infection. Diseases transmitted by this are scrapy, scrapy in goats, encephalopathy, mink encephalopathy, guru, Crucefield Jakob syndrome, or Dalek. These are prions. Now, uh, I told DNA viruses, you should simply remember triple P yesterday in the class I told you. Mnemonic. Uh, triple P. Triple P, double H. Triple P, double H. Box. Pepova, Parvo, Arpis, Epadna, Edina. Fox, Parvo, Pepova, Arpis, Epadna, Edina. Now, uh, this uh, Fox virus is totally eradicated from the globe, global eradication. Who discovered a smallpox vaccine? Edward Jenner. Edward Jenner. What is the story of Edward Jenner? Know the story? Who is who, who can translate it in Telugu? Who is good in translation? Who is good in translation? Come, what's your name? What's your mother tongue? Come, come here. Edward Jenner, Edward Jenner suffered from suffered from suffered from smallpox at the age of eight. Edward Jenner is in smallpox and In olden days, we used to practice. Used to practice practice variolation. Whenever it's possible, tell in English, no problem. We used to practice vari variolation. What is variolation? Variolation is taking the uh, crust of the swab, uh, crust of the uh, lesion from the smallpox, make it into the powder, insufflate into the nose. Taking crust of the healing swab, scab, make a powder, insufflate into it. Some people used to die of, uh, because live virus was present. This was practiced in China and India. This moved to the London, where uh, all city bred doctors practice, started practicing this and it became very popular. Uh, Edward Jenner himself underwent uh, variolation at the age of eight, but he survived. Okay. But he was, he was a practitioner in Burkfield doctor and uh, used to get a milk from Sarah Mames, milkmaid. And she told him that she has already suffered from smallpox, she will not suffer from. She has suffered from cowpox. 
and she will not suffer from smallpox. And uh, that is the story that uh, he got hold of a boy called James Phipps and he grew the virus on the udder of the cow and gave the cowpox virus to the boy and challenged with the smallpox virus after 4 to 8 weeks, boy survived. That is the story. Father Edward Jenner is called as father of vaccinology. And everybody said that, that uh, he should be banned from doing medical practice because how cowpox, cow animal virus can protect uh, human virus. It went to London, uh, it went to US and again it came back to London. And uh, everybody started uh, vaccinating. Today we are free from smallpox. All of you have not taken smallpox, but I have taken vaccine. Now, around 80s, early 80s, uh, it is globally eradicated from the world. So that is the story of smallpox vaccine. Can you tell in Telugu uh, what I just told? Make it very simple. Cowpox virus prevents the cowpox virus and virus prevents the human human uh, cowpox virus is called vaccine virus. Cowpox virus means cause called vaccine virus. virus. And smallpox virus is called variola virus. Smallpox virus. Cowpox in Latin means uh, vaka. Vaka means cow. Vaka means cow. Vaka and cow. That is the beginning of the era of uh, smallpox vaccine. Everybody, all prophylactically given antigens, all prophylactically are called as vaccines. All prophylactically given antigens are called vaccine. All prophylactically given antigens are called vaccine. Please sit down. So now uh, there are a lot of vaccines which are given prophylactically. Uh, as soon as the baby is born, we give uh, BCG and oral polio. 6th, 10th and 14th week, uh, we give pentavalent vaccine. DPT. DPT stands for diphtheria, pertussis and tetanus. We give Hib B, Hemophilus influenza B and uh, hepatitis B vaccine. And uh, we give oral polio vaccine. Oral polio vaccine is called Sabin vaccine. Parental vaccine is called Salk vaccine. Ninth month, we give measles vaccine. Twelfth month, we give MMR, mumps, measles, and rubella vaccine. And 18 months again, we give DT and oral polio vaccine. And sixth year, tenth year, and sixteenth year, we give repeat DT. Okay. Now we have started pulse polio program. Pulse polio pro program. We give on first Sundays of January and February. Additional drops. Now, newer vaccines have come into the market. This is uh, pneumococcal vaccine, rota vaccine, hepatitis A vaccine, and if you are traveling to South Africa, you have to take yellow fever vaccine. So, this is a story of vaccine. All Oka means cow. Okay. Cow pox causing virus was given to. Smallpox virus. So, in the in the memory of Edward Jenner, all vaccines are called. All vaccines are called. Uh, all, all antigens are called vaccines. Everybody prophylactically given antigens are called as. Vaccines. vaccines. Prophylactically given antigens are called vaccines. Prophylactically given antigens are called vaccines. So, moving on to the uh, uh, how do you, I said detection. Now, moving on to the RNA virus. RNA virus, orthomyxovirus. You have to make for this if you are good in. Now, PEPO virus stands for. Polyoma papilloma vacuolating virus, papilloma. Papilloma polyoma vacuolating virus, parvo virus, uses the single nerve. Herpes simplex, herpes simplex 1 and 2, VZ virus, Epstein Barr virus, cytomegalovirus. Epstein Barr virus is uh, nicknamed as kissing disease. It's transmitted by, it gives rise to infectious mononucleosis or glandular disease. Her, uh, hepatina gives rise to hepatitis B. All of you are vaccinated for hepatitis B? How many doses you have taken? Two doses. Three doses you have to take. Zero one six. You take. If you are not taken, you have to take. Today is the day you should take. After once you oh, take an antigen, 
what you check for how, how do you know that you are immunized or not all healthcare workers should take uh, hepatitis b vaccine why all healthcare workers should take uh, hepatitis b vaccine why hmm what all healthcare workers should take hepatitis b vaccine it's a compulsory why in fact uh, in karnataka we made a rule all allied health centers nurses technicians medical students should take uh hepatitis b vaccine you have any idea <coughs> hepatitis b vaccine is transmitted by needle stick injury in this side needle stick injury there are three viral diseases which are transmitted by needle stick injury what are the three needle stick injury Zero point three percent, three percent, and thirty percent. So it is almost hundred times or thousand times more infectious than HIV. So if all of you, when you walk in the hospital corridor, if there is a needle stick on the floor of the hospital. If you get stuck, what do you do immediately? Needle stick injury. Don't put mask. Mask will not help if they get needle stick here. <laughs> Putting mask. Virus is coming like this, sir. Yeah. Wash. Wash. Wash with what? Yeah. Wash with what? Everybody, whenever there is an injury to the finger, put hand in the mouth. Why? Why they put in the mouth? It's a myth. mouth is a museum of microorganism you should not do it okay uh, immediately what if you get hands so many of you are in allied and bpt and all those things you get hand stick injury in the uh, syringe get one syringe and come on get one syringe hand stick injury needle stick injury and um. Ah, syringe, syringe. Needle stick injury. Immediately, you should you should not squeeze too much. Hmm? You should not put it in the mouth. You should clean with carbolic acid soap. And after that, what you will do? If you get needle stick injury in hospital, go to go to where? Lab for what? Diagnose. Okay. Then this this is uh, in the open window. So always uh, when you use anybody knows how to give injection, you know, ah, uh, come here, come here. So, open, open the. Uh, okay, there is a vial. You took the vial and given the injection. After that, how do you close? How do? Ah, don't do this. This is lot. This is called as. Always you remember in lifetime. This is one hand lock. You should lock. I'm a left hander. So, no, no, no. Needle burner is there, but if there is no needle burner, if you are in a place. Where there is no needle burn, you should see that it goes inside. Once it is inside, it's stuck. Like that. One one hand lock method. One hand lock. What happens? You are just doing like this. You are going. Some beautiful girls comes around. <laughs> just you prick yourself. <laughs> so one hand lock. You should uh, very careful. You should. Uh, 
not trick yourself and uh, the magnanimity of problem hepatitis b is 35 crore how much equivalent to the population of us equivalent to the population of us are carrying this virus in their blood how much 35 crores what is the population of india 130 very good very good on 40 1 to 145 okay so population of us is 35 crores we are one fifth of uh, land is one fifth of us but we are five times world population of american population so in healthcare in hospital we would do say one two three four five six every seventh person is a carrier of hepatitis b virus every seventh person is a carrier of virus before you get yourself even if you have an abraded hand if you touch the patient it is present uh, if you touch you are going to acquire this hepatitis b and so it's uh, very important who said this please don't do any harm to already sick patient please don't do any harm to already sick patient please don't do any harm to already sick patient who said this please don't do any harm to already sick nightingale hmm? lady with lamp okay so there are what are hospital acquired infection it's all nabh what are hospital acquired infection hospital acquired infection hold like this you know how to count four there are four hospital acquired infection number one is corti corti stands for catheterized catheterized urinary tract infection corti stands for catheterized catheterized urinary tract infection next is vap ventilator associated pneumonia ventilator associated pneumonia second one is ventilator associated pneumonia ventilator associated pneumonia the third one is bsi blood stream infection iv fluids when you give patient will get infected then fourth one is ssi surgical site infection ssi so repeat five times corti vap bsi ssi Okay. Now this is about DNA viruses. Moving on to important RNA viruses. First one is orthomyxovirus. Example is uh, influenza A B C. Ortho. Mixo, ortho mixo. Influenza A B C. Influenza stands for inclement weather. Usually occurs in cold. Paramyxovirus. Paramyxovirus again uh, respiratory virus. Pneumovirus. Uh, again, uh, all respiratory causing virus. Next is uh, picorno virus, orthomyxo, para influenza virus, paramyxo, orthomyxo, enterovirus, 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 organism calling poliomyelitis, picorno or and the rhinovirus poliomyelitis rhinovirus cold rhino 
virus which causes cold then even uh, hepatitis a virus is also rna virus then rhabdo virus rabies rhabdo virus which causes rabies man infected by the bite of the then retrovirus example is hiv virus retro hiv virus retrovirus which also which causes hiv virus next is arbo virus arthropod and six legged insects mosquito flea ticks important arthropod borne viruses present in india are japanese bee encephalitis dengue chikungunya chikungunya forest disease then corona virus we had this covid 19 so rna virus so these are the uh, important vir viruses that are you should study okay uh, important viral infection that you are supposed to study that is uh, no once uh, i said the cytopathic effect there is a inclusion body formation inside the host cell in the cell lines they form inclusion bodies this is the cell this is the nucleus they can form intra cytoplasmic intranuclear or both intracellular intranuclear or both now uh, these are produced uh, by the virus inside the host they are intracellular intracytoplasmic intranuclear or both the example of uh, uh, intracytoplasmic antibodies is negri bodies negri bodies present in rabies virus negri bodies negri bodies are present in the and uh, there are cowdery type of cowdery type a and cowdery type b cowdery type a is produced by herpes and yellow fever cowdery type b is produced by andhra pradesh you remember adeno and polio virus ap ap andhra pradesh cowdery type b cowdery type a ya herpes hy hyderabad hyderabad herpes and yellow fever cowdery type a hy herpes yellow fever cowdery type b adeno and polio adeno and polio what is the help of this what is the use of uh, uh, this uh, inclusion body helps in the <coughs> diagnosis of your inclusion body help in the diagnosis of uh, diagnosis of viral infection and uh, these are very important and this is uh, inclusion bodies uh, transmit uh, is demonstrated by you seen mitlin blue stain or jimsa stain okay now there are uh, how virus man get infected for example by the bite of dogs that is rabies respiratory or respiratory viruses to gi most of this polio virus adeno virus coxsackie virus skin all this chicken pox and uh, what are the sexually transmitted viral diseases sexually transmitted viral hiv everybody say hiv 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 no other than hiv 
हेपेटाइटिस बी हेपेटाइटिस सी हर्पी सिंप्लेक्स टी पेपोवायरस ऑल दिस आर ट्रांसमिटेड जेनेटल हेपिस हर्पी सिंप्लेक्स टू हर्पिक सिंप्लेक्स टू इज जेनेटल हेपिस गनोरिया इज बैक्टीरियल गनोरिया इज बैक्टीरियल सो देर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म यू शुड रिमेंबर बैक्टीरिया वायरस फंगाई एंड पैरासाइट बैक्टीरिया वायरस फंगाई पैरासाइट सो आई मूव टू द प्रैक्टिकल हॉल वेर षण्मुगम चार्ट सिट पॉक्स वायरस चार्ट चार्ट एग् एग् ऑफ मैडम ऑफ